Please stay your blade. I mean no. Oh. It's you. That would only be the second worst thing you've done to me. You loot-breaking asshole. Oh, this is the last thing I need. Look, you left me in a bad way. I couldn't stay in the grove with the others, just waiting to die. So I left. Why did I bother trying to explain myself? I've met steaming piles of excrement more pleasant than you. I'm only here out of necessity. I saw your fire in the dark, and I'm... Well, exhausted. I need somewhere safe to rest. You! No, I don't think you will. I don't have the energy for this. I'm going to bed. Don't worry, I'll be gone by first light. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. moment comes to you, the flash of abject terror in her eyes, blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. Dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? If you could craft a corpse like this in one night, what masterpieces have you sculpted in your forgotten decades? You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. light and delicate girl. There should be no trouble at all to toss her into a ditch. You roll her away, further bloodying your hands as you do. In lumbering style, 
you have gotten away with murder. <laughs>